got your text message. You said you wanted me to do your makeup. And what is it for? Are you going anywhere? Oh, so you're going on a, a work do later. And what kind of work do is it? Oh, right, so it's a carnival themed work do. And you thought you'd ask my help because I've been living in Spain. Well, you've come to the right person. Um, have you got a dress for it? All right, let's see. Oh, that's a lovely blue colour, very bright. I think it will really suit you. And have you got a mask as well? Oh, no, you don't. Um, so that's why you've asked me for help. You wanted to draw one on. Well, actually, you won't have to because I've got a mask. And you're really lucky because it's also blue. I think it will go with your dress really nicely. Do you like it? Yeah, actually, it is from a carnival. I got it in a carnival in Cadiz. It's hand painted. Yes, of course you can borrow it. And you can even borrow my little badge, my little pin badge to go with it. And this is also from Cadiz. They look the same, that's why I bought it. It's like a miniature version. So yeah, we won't have to paint one on anymore. We can borrow this. But I was thinking we could do a nice bold eyeshadow look. How do you feel about that? You're not sure? Yeah, you don't really experiment much with your makeup, do you? Yeah, you usually wear just like neutral shades, I've noticed. Well, today I thought we could um, push your makeup looks out of the box, so to speak, and do a nice bold eyeshadow look, so your eyes really stand out from under the mask. And if you want to, we could do a bold lip look as well. How do you feel about that? Okay, yeah. Do you want to try it out? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we could do a nice bright red to match the feathers and blue and green on your eyes. Oh, you've never worn blue and green on your eyes before. Well, I think today's the time to try. Okay, well, just sit here on the bed with me and I'll get my makeup. Oh, where did I get my makeup bag? It was a present actually from my old roommate. Okay, well first things first. I'm just going to apply this beautifully matte makeup base. Makeup base, makeup base, makeup base. And it's a primer. It will help your makeup stay on a little bit longer. Yes, it is white when it comes out of the, of the tube. Don't worry, it blends in really well. I use it on my skin all the time. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. Okay. Now, I found 
foundation. Okay, this is the Stay Perfect range. Stay Perfect, 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 Perfect. Perfect, 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 Perfect. And it stays on for up to 24 hours. So you normally just wear foundation to work and powder, you don't wear anything else. Yeah, I suppose that's good for a, a neutral, a natural work look. I tend to put some um, concealer to contour my face. You've never tried that? We're going to try it today. Okay, I'm just going to add, dab a little bit onto your cheeks. Forehead, tap, 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 and your upper lip, tap, 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 your chin, tap, 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 cheeks, tap, 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 and then I'm gonna blend it all out with this foundation brush, 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 and what I like about it is the bristles are very soft. Oh right, you normally use a beauty blender. Yeah, I use that too. But I find that the brush really helps to blend out the foundation. In fact, I think it works better than a beauty blender. Okay, I'll just blend your foundation in. Okay, so now some CC cream. CC cream, CC cream. And this is the one, two, three, perfect, 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 perfect range by Bourgeois. It contains three pigments. It's got orange, green, and white. The orange is anti-fatigue, green for anti-redness, and white for anti-dark spots. Now you'd never use CC cream before. Well, it's a bit like concealer, as in it hides your blemishes and stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna add it a little bit to your eyes, under your eyes to hide any dark circles, not like you have any. Your nose, upper lip, cheek, chin, forehead, and then we're going to blend it out with this brush again. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this translucent powder. Yeah, it's a bit like a pressed powder, but this is a neutral shade. It's got no colour actually.
and it works in the same way as a pressed powder it helps your makeup to stay on for longer and to apply that I'm going to use a stipple brush stipple 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 Very soft. Soft, 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 Okay. Brush it off and then I'm gonna stipple it on your face. Stipple, 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 Okay, so now for the bit you've never done before. It's contour time. So this is a contour stick. I'm going to start off with the dark shade actually and we're just going to apply a little bit to your cheekbones or rather under the cheekbones just sort of this bit here creates a shadow it makes your cheekbones stand out okay And then we're just going to apply a little bit to your jawline. And then a bit to your forehead. And a bit here, just over your eyebrows. So what this does is it helps to shape your face. And... According to beauty experts, the ideal face shape is oval. So it's like we're creating an oval face shape by shading everything else in. And I'm going to use a small brush here as well. Just to add a little bit to the sides of your nose to create a longer and thinner nose. Brush, brush. Okay, and then we're going to use a brush again and just blend it all out. With this one, we're going to put it on your cupid's bow, or rather above your cupid's bow, a little bit to your chin, your cheekbones, and the ridge of your nose, just to make them stand out a bit more. And I'm just going to apply a little bit here to your eyebrows, or rather just underneath, and a bit to your forehead as well. 
Okay, and then we're going to blend it out again. Perfect. I'm going to apply some blusher now. Blusher, 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 blusher. of your cheek. remove it, I don't mind. I've also got some blue and green eyeliners that you can use as well as the eyeshadows. Okay, I'm just going to use a brush to apply your makeup. So I'm going to use this big fluffy brush. I'm just going to take this blue. Hmm. Yes, I'll start with the blue. And we're going to add a bit to, well, we're going to add the whole shade to your eyes. And then we're going to add some green as well. So, brush, 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 going to create like a gradient look and then this green here it's a bit darker just um, behind that other color push, push, push. Push, push, push. and then I'm gonna apply a different green actually let's go for this blue and create an Sort of a darker shadow. I'll blend it in with some green actually. But it's the one. I'll do this one first. Push, 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 push. We could go a little bit darker actually. I'm going to put this one on as well. Push, 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 push. And I'm going to put a little bit of green. Okay, I'll just blend it out a bit more. Push, 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 push. Great. So now your eyes really stand out. And I'm also going to add a little bit of gold just to the center of your eyelids. I think this will help your eyelids really pop under the mask. I'm just going to go in with this shade over here and I'm going to use a smaller brush for this just to make it more precise. This is the brush from before. Just give it a quick wipe actually. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'll just add a little bit to the centre of your eyelids and then that makes your eyes really stand out. 
Now I've got these metallic blue and green eyeshadows, um, eyeliners rather. So we could apply this to your eyelids as a liner. To define your eyes. Yep, and how about some green under your eyelids? Okay, great. Do you think we should go all crazy? Your eyes are very bold, but let's do a little bit more. Let's put a little bit of blue mascara. Mascara, mascara, mascara. This will help your eyelids and eyelashes really stand out. No, I don't think we are going too bold. And you know what? Because your eyes will kind of be hidden by the mask um, and besides in carnival time people wear really bold makeup so I think it will be quite alright to put um, bold eyeshadow and eyeliner and mascara under your mask but if you don't like it would have always uh, remove it and start over I really don't mind I'm going to curl your eyelashes a bit first. You normally don't wear mascara anyway. Okay, well, let's put some on anyway. This helps to really make your eyelashes defined and helps them curl them a little bit as well. Okay, so I'll just curl your lashes. Add the mascara. A bit to your bottom lashes as well. Okay, great. Okay, so we're nearly finished, don't worry. I know that you'll probably have the mask on during the night, but you may feel a little bit uncomfortable with it and feel like you might want to take it off, so... The mask will hide your eyebrows. But, well, if you do decide to take the mask off, then it would be better to do your eyebrows as well. I'm just going to brush it out with this little comb. Comb, 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 comb. Comb, 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 comb. Comb, comb. And this is a little bit like an eyeliner. I'm just going to blend it out, but it's a little bit softer. So I'm just going to draw your eyebrow. Like so. And I'm only gonna brush it out just to make it look more natural. Brush, 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 brush. Brush, 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 brush. Okay, now for your lips. I'm gonna put some lip liner on. Yeah, it looks a bit dark, but don't worry. I'll blend it out. This just helps to define your lips a bit more. Okay, now for the colour. 
Um, so I think we could do with adding some red to your lips to give you a really bold makeup look. Do you think you're still okay with that? Yeah? Okay. So. What colour is the feather? Okay, I'm gonna add this, this shade actually. This nice dark one. And then we're gonna lighten it with a bit of this red. Okay, just keep your lips closed for me, thank you. And then we're gonna lighten up this red in the center of your lips, just to help your lips to stand out and to make them look more full. Okay, go like this. Great. So that's your makeup look all done. Okay, shall we try it on with the mask now? Yeah. Okay, let's put it on. Oh, that looks fantastic. <laughs> yeah, your eyes really stand out from under the mask. Okay, so here's the mask and the pin badge for you to wear tonight. And before you leave, how about a squirt of my favourite perfume? It's got a really nice fruity and floral scent. I know how much you like this kind of scent. Okay, well, enjoy your night, and remember to take loads of photos and send them to me by WhatsApp. Okay, well, see you soon.